Hello, good morning. Uh, this day, today I decided I don't gonna sit and wait until even evening. Praise be to God because God has woken me up this morning. I should thank Him and I should say thank you for this wonderful day you have given to me because I've just woke up and I'm fine and I'm okay and I have to thank God for that. And I'm grateful for His love for me in the faith that He has shown me because. He is great God. So today I'm going to read the, the book of Esther. And it's my favorite uh, chapter of my life. You know, this is my favorite. This is this is, a, uh, um, this is the, uh, the verse which saved me. And which changed my life forever. This is the verse I've been singing and for three good years. Uh, not three good years, but almost four years. This is my the verse I read one day one second day I was I was fasting and praying and I wake up and open my Bible and this is what God this is what I what was my victory and this is what I read and that is what my life changed. I just want to read for you this morning and I will read Esther chapter chapter sixteen to eighteen. I hope you listen. Because sometimes Bible can tell you exactly what you need to do. And it can tell you exactly what is going on. And also it can tell you what the importance of your life and what, is, what you have to do. You know, the Bible tells you everything you need to do. So it's better to read the Bible instead of talking, instead of crying. You know, the Bible will give you the answers you need. And I'm going to read for you uh, Esther chapter one chapter two verse eighteen and it's some I'll start from sixteen so you can understand you know and then I will stop from verse eighteen and it says and I'll uh, I'll start now uh, I'll start from uh, chapter fifteen I think that is why it should be read and I'll read when uh when the turn came to um, to the for the Esther daughter of Abihail the uncle of Mordecai, who had taken her as his own daughter, to go in the king, she asked for nothing except what a guy, the king Eunuch, would have charge of the women advised. Now Esther was winning favor in the eyes of the uh, who saw her, and the and when she was, was taken, Esther was taken to the king Osiris in this royal palace in the tenth month which is the month of Tebed in the seventh year of Israel. The king loved Esther more than women, and she won grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins. So he sent the loyal crown on her head and made her queen instead of Vashet. Then the king gave great feast for all his officials and servants. It was Esther feast. He granted the remission of taxes to forces and gave gift to royal generosity. Praise be to God. And I want to talk about this because sometimes you may feel down, you may feel like God cannot favor you, and you feel you are nothing. You know, it is that feeling some people feel when they, it comes to your own name. Uh, your own, you know, when you feel like I'm nobody, you know, sometimes you feel like, I cannot get somewhere, I cannot be this, I cannot be that, I can, you know, there's that feeling somebody feels when they are down, you know, when they think their life is messed up, you know, it's like that, you know, Esther was nobody, Esther was not expensive, Esther was not rich, Esther was just an ordinary girl, but let me tell you what she did. She had a uncle who loved her. You know, I know you have an uncle there who might love you more than your parent, you know. And if you have no parent, you have somebody who loves you, you know. They can do anything for you. So uncle, so Esther was say, kind girl, was sweet girl. And so that this girl, I have to do something about her because she's good and she's, she's not as bad as other people. So the uncle help her and say, I have to prepare her. If you read from chapter 1, you understand what I mean. How Esther was prepared. She didn't, she didn't just wake up and go to the queen, uh, to the king and be crowned a princess or queen. She didn't. It, it took a whole 
all time to prepare her. She was prepared how to be a queen, you know. She was prepared how to face the king. She was prepared to face the other virgins, to face other women. She was prepared, you know. She didn't do any makeup. She didn't do hair. Yeah, she must be cut the hair and do something, but she did it. Those times there was no makeup. So she just washed her face and wear good clothes, which are honorable to the presence of everybody who see her, you know. And that's how she did. And she was prepared how to walk, how to talk, you know. She was prepared how to manage herself when she got the presence of king. You know, so when you want to win something, you cannot just jump and go and and doing that you cannot just find it the way you think you find it you cannot just have it the way you think you have it you know there's a way you have to prepare you know to get to that point and i'm telling you this morning prepare like esther is prepared if you have nobody and you are alone you know just prepare to get where you want because i know there's a place you want to be and there's a place you want to start you are surprised you want to be every time there's a place where you need to start, you know. There's a place you need to go, you know. You just need to prepare. There's nothing which can come like like that. Now, nah, there's no instant things comes. Yes, sometimes there's instant prayers, there's instant miracles, there's instant anything. But when it comes to the favor and mercy of God, you need to prepare. You need to prepare. You need to go a step at a time so that God favor and mercy can fall in. And also, you need to find your heart. How is your heart? How do you feel towards other people? How do you talk towards other people? Do you always destroy other people? Do you always talk bad about other people? Do you always do things which is not, which God can see is not vulnerable? Something which is not good at the eyes of God. Please, let me tell you this morning. Hester was prepared. To face other other ladies, other women, other virgins, as was prepared how to walk to the to the king, he was prepared how to face others. If she didn't just wake up and go and be crowned a queen, she needed to prepare. She prepared. You need to prepare. Whatever you're going through right now, be prepared. Prepare for it. Prepare for that moment. Prepare and be prepared. And I'm telling you this, you will win at the end of the day. When you know what you want, just go for it. Prepare for it. Do as you can. You know, but everything without the Bible, without reading this word of God, hmm? without reading the word of God, I don't think you can get any answers. Because reading the Bible is the only way to know God. I'm telling you the truth. You cannot just go to the church and sit and hear the same old oh, dance and what, but you have no Bible with you. You don't read the Bible. The pastor, the reverend, the bishop, they read for you. Eh? They read for you the Bible. But do you know where exactly are they reading? Or just taking the notes because the pastor has read the Bible. What tip is misreading you? Well, you know, it's good to have a Bible. It's good to have a Bible so you can know exactly because the chapter which is not in the Bible and somebody can can try to write to you to know if you read your Bible. If you don't read your Bible, you mis mis uh, pretend, um, misuse, uh, misread, you know. You'll be misread and you don't know what to do, you know. Please prepare because Esther prepared and she won a grace from, and a favor from God. Yes. She was God-fearing girl, and that is how she wanted grace. You cannot just prepare and don't fear God. You don't pray to God. You don't ask God for any, any guidance. You don't do anything. You just have to do all both same time. To be on God's side, to be a God-fearing person, and then to pray, and then to prepare. Yes, and you have to do all it takes to get there. And I'm sure you will reach that that destination to that place you want to be every every day i'm happy i know god has prepared your way and you need just to let yourself involved in your whatever don't just go to the, you know I, I know people many people they just like to go to prayers to the prophecy they don't have time to pray for themselves they want to be told the future they want to be told what happened with their life 
Or don't you sit down and pray and take your Bible. Take your Bible, read, and understand. That is the only way you can understand the God presence and the God way in your life. The Bible will teach you. Today, I'm not going to read the verse because that is what I wanted to treat for you today. The favor of God to be upon you. And that is what I'm asking to, for you to do this morning. If you are somewhere and you're disappointed, you're distressed, and you cannot know what to do, call on God and read the Bible. And always read that chapter. It's a verse, chapter 2, verse 16 to, to, to 18. It will help you to understand. Or you start from 15 to, to 20. It will make you know what you have to do. And also, if you want to know more about this favor, start from Esther chapter 1 to the last one. You know, it's needed to prepare. That's why she was born a prince, a princess, you know, and you can see that um, um, there were many things. If you read the book, um, if you read this book, I think uh, I will, I will, uh, I will start soon. I will start to read for you because the the book of Esther is not so big, you know, um, it's not big and it's not many chapters. I will try to do this from tomorrow. I will, I will try to read from the chapter one. To chapter, it, I think it's in, from chapter, um, uh, chapter, um, it is from chapter 1 to chapter 10, but it's not so long, you know. I can read you the whole book from chapter 1 to chapter 10 so you can understand what I mean. And that is how you need to know. Esther was favorable because she loved other people. She didn't just want to be a queen and just be uh, enjoy herself because she's a queen. She was there for a purpose, and that is why God had favor on her. So, what is your purpose? What do you want to do? You want to be a queen and be on your own and don't do for other people and forget the people behind you? Or you want to be a queen and be their people? What do you want to be? You just have to find the decision, and that God will not wear um, the answers you need in life. And that is my Bible for today. Um, don't gonna read another one verse and I hope God will favor you and you read the book of Esther. And if for those who don't have time and you can read, you can watch my videos, I'll read for you the book of Esther from tomorrow. I have promised I will read it and God will bless you because you need to know how to be favored and how to do the exactly or how to go about it so that the favor of God can be upon you and the mercy. So let's pray for this morning and may God bless you and thank you for watching. Don't don't forget to subscribe, don't like don't forget to like, don't forget to, to comment and God bless you. Let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I come before this morning. I glorify your mighty name. I say thank you for your guidance. Thank you for your love. Thank you for this moment. Thank you for everything you have done into my life. I, I give you praise for, for Lord, you know me. You know my name, Father. For exactly, Esther, Hanko, knew that Esther was, was a God-fearing girl, God-fearing woman. And that's why he chose her to be his daughter. So that he can present her to the queen, to the king. And he prepared her like her own daughter. And she, pre she taught her. He taught her every detail and what she has to do. Because she was just an ordinary girl. Oh, Father, I know. We are just on that. But, Father, I know you take us to the next step. I know, Father, you take somebody who is just an ordinary. But a God-fearing girl or a man or a woman. Any, any pun, anyone, Father, may you favor them. May you have mercy on them, that they be chosen, and that they know that, Father, when they trust in you, I will rely on you, Father, they will not be disappointed. They will not get, they will not go below, but they will go above. They will not be under, they will be above, oh, mighty God. Father, I trust in your name. I believe in your presence. I believe in your angels. I believe in your spirits. I believe in Jesus. And I believe, Father, you does what you know. What you can do, Father, no man can do. Oh, Father, if you are for us, nothing can be against us. Father, I rejoice in your name. And I rejoice knowing that, Father, there's a, there's a victory at the end of this journey. In Jesus' mighty name, 
Bless somebody who watched this. Let them know, Father, you're there for them. And that they may be favored by you and your mercy upon them every day of their life. Everybody watching this, Father, or everybody who watched this card, may you favor them. May you give may you have so much on them and may they get whatever they are looking for in Jesus' mighty name. Father, bless them. Let's show them with love and let them know Jesus. The Bible is the only way to know the truth. And it's the only way to find the answers they need in Jesus' mighty name. I thank you, Father, for the favor. I thank you, Father, for what you are going to do. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray and believe. Amen. And for what's in heaven, I will be the name of the kingdom of God. There is none on earth as it is in heaven. Give us the story of rain and forgive us our trespasses as He forgive us who trespass against us. Do not the temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the power and the kingdom are yours forever and ever. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray and believe. Amen. Be blessed and keep preparing. God's favor and mercy is coming on your way. Have a